the idea of those coming in the most populated city in Idaho doesn't thrill me when they live on the flight path. Tonight, the Idaho Air National Guard held a public meeting in Boise to talk about the F-35A possibly being based at Gowan Field. A lot of residents turned out for the meeting tonight, voicing several different concerns. Meanwhile, the Air Force says it's doing all it can to reduce those worries. Our Misty Inglet was at the meeting and she joins us now with details. Misty? Mark and Kim, a little clarification so that we know who we're talking about. We are talking about the Idaho Air National Guard based at Gowan Field. The Air National Guard is a reserve component of the U.S. Air Force, and it's the Air Force proposing to bring these F-35As to Boise. Currently, Boise is one of five possible cities being proposed to bring F-35A jets to an Air Guard location in Boise's case, to Gowan Field. The Idaho Air National Guard has been flying fighters out of Gowan Field for over 70 years. As of now, Gowan has 18 A-10 fighter jets that do flights twice a day. That wouldn't change. Those A-10 jets would simply be replaced with the same number of F-35As. But residents have some concerns with the proposal, the biggest one being noise. Tom Campbell lives directly in the flight path. F-16, F-18, F-15, when they fly over and, and kick in the afterburners, it's really disruptive. My grandson actually has a hearing deficit, but the decibel level and the tone that the aircraft fly in are something that he picks up uh, really well. And it kind of like, it surprises him when it starts to come and he starts to shake and he gets really scared. Idaho Air National Guard admits F-35s are louder than A-10s, but... We've always mitigated the sound. We have very strict noise abatement procedures that we fly by. Other concerns from residents include possible effects to wildlife and potential harm to certain residents, like those suffering from PTSD. We are donating bicycles uh, to uh, a, a new American family, some incoming refugee families, and a plane flew over low, and the father of these children grabbed his kids and hit the deck. Um, and he stood back up and I was like, what happened? And he goes, well, where I come from, when a plane flies over like that, it means bad things. And we have to listen to stories like that from our community members. There are myriad problems with these planes. They're frequently grounded because of technical difficulties. Pilots pass out uh, for lack of oxygen. Uh, they can't fly in the rain or at night. The F-35 is a very sound, capable, and safe aircraft. So not seen any reports that would indicate otherwise. And the mishap rate, according to the Air National Guard, no different than any other aircraft. So the question remains, why the need to bring F-35As to Boise? It's always important to maintain a technological advantage over your enemy. And this is a fifth generation aircraft. The, the F-35 is the next evolution to keep us ahead of our peers in that technology fight. So tonight was obviously one chance for public comment and it will still be taken on the proposal from now through September 27th and you can submit comments online and I've put how to do that on this story at KTVB.com. Kim and the military expects to make its decision in February.